with corruption matters. It is now emerging that the clearance of former devolution cabinet secretary Anne Waiguru over the National Youth Service scam was a mistake. According to the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission Chair Philip Kinesu, a communication on breakdown between commission the commission and other government agencies led to the clearance of Waiguru over the 791 million shilling scam. This comes even as the commission confirmed that it is in the process of investigating fresh claims of procurement irregularities within the NYS, totaling to some 800 million Kenya shillings. KTN's newest addition to the proficient KTN political affairs desk, Chris Thairo, now reports. It was the first time that the anti-graft chair, Philip Kinisu, was appearing before the Legal Affairs Committee in the National Assembly since coming into office in January. But with the EACC having faced condemnation and outcry from the public and politicians from Code and Jubilee for clearing former devolution cabinet secretary Anwe Goro, despite allegations from different quarters that she was behind the NYS come, the chair sought to put the record straight. Clearance that was given to one of the individuals involved in this, uh, former cabinet secretary Anwe Goro. Now that had to be clarified uh, in, the, in the sense that uh, the investigations leading to the clearance were one track the investigations leading to the stickiness we had around 791 million were another track. So well, the government, we the government, were not speaking to each other uh, so that we kind of made the mistakes we did. However, his statement did not go down well with members of the committee who accused the commission of only offering lip service to Kenyans. Are we not able exclusively investigate a matter? We need a lot of rapid response initiatives. The, the fight against corruption is, is, is really not going well as far as the public is concerned. On the one hand, we did one piece of work and we said, that's okay. In another, in another case, another piece of work comes up with, a, uh, with a, uh, an affidavit and it says there's a problem here. Uh, who knows what will come up next? And th therefore, what will we look like uh, if we don't take a holistic view of the issues around mm -hmm. NYS? You see, most members are not very happy with the work you're doing. They really think that you're not giving us uh, value for money. These are early days for us as well. And uh, <clears throat> as you know, the fight again against corruption is not a sprint. It is a marathon. Uh, we are taking on a battle that was started in the year 2003. The embattled former cabinet secretary Anne Waiguru has already appeared before the commission for fresh interrogations after Josephine Kavura alleged in a sworn affidavit that she shared the the former CS. Meanwhile, the anti-graft body has revealed that it is in the process of investigating fresh allegations of procurement irregularities within the National Youth Service, totaling to 861 million shillings during Waiguru Stena. The ESCC chairman also informed the committee that the UK government has agreed to hive off and return to Kenyan taxpayers 51 million shillings from the assets of the British firm found guilty of bribing Kenyan officials to win printing contracts at the Kenya National Examinations Council and the Kenya Tech 2 and the Interim Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. This evidence eventually got to the ESCC on 29th of January uh, and we are using it to supplement what other information we had on our investigation files in order to complete uh, our investigations and take the files forward. The firm Smith and Usman was found guilty by a British court of having given 51 million shillings in bribes. The current IEBC chairman, Isaac Hassan, has already recorded a statement with the EACC over the chicken gate scandal. Chris Dairo for KTN News.